the center height the easy way I have found to set that tool bit height is when you turn in a piece of metal I just chuck it up in there where it falls is where it tightens up at then take a facing cut set the bit where you think is center line make a facing cut observe the little protrusion right there like those things sticking out and half of that is uh, that, that's how much you're off center one half of that di diameter and then, then you make the corresponding adjustment onto the height of the bit and make another pass uh, it's just quick and easy for me to get that little protrusion off the center of that whatever material you're working with is if you're going to center drill the stock then that little protrusion uh, will uh, make your bit wander so it's well worth the time to uh, set that to set your centers correctly okay you just 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 center drill to the correct depth this is free machine and brass that I am using for this project it's about the best, uh, well I do like to turn some cast star on every now and then. Now, okay, before you start turning anything, I'll save you some, I'll save you some material. It, it actually work, will work out better if you turn this end first, and that way you can cut it to length. You can chuck up this distance here in the chuck much better than you can chuck up this eighth of an inch on this end so I decided to machine this end first that in turn proved that I did not need to center drill this this way as the center drill that I used was actually larger than the jet size that we need so I did have to I did waste about a quarter of an inch of material in order to face that perfectly flat and you do need a little flat surface right there so that the wind current when it comes across there it'll draw that fuel out of there suction and uh, and and I and I did make this a little bit longer when we get back to the workbench over there I'll show you why we did that the taper is the next thing to do and then remove it from the chuck saw it uh, to the length oversize chuck this part up and turn this part and then drill through we're gonna get on with it the taper the the distance if you remember that taper right there starts one half an inch from this face right here out this way one five hundred thousandths and then the taper will go to the center I'm going to say I'm going to leave a little less than one eighth of an inch flat and I will just step that down by eyesight with the uh, with the two bit and then I'll take a mill file and dress it up we, we'll look at it the taper we got her done one half inch from this shoulder to the start of the taper and then down to about eighth of an inch just I didn't measure it that's about what it is it's flat on the end right there a eighth of an inch flat and, and and I did I went on ahead and used this lathe lathe file it's a lathe file it's cut different you don't use a mill file on this on the lathe you use a lathe file anyways I just just you know step drilled that and then just brought it to a smooth pleasing taper with the file uh, it's good to go we're finished with this I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out cut it off and then we will chuck this in the lathe and work from the other end up to now this is where we're at just if you could picture this the blueprint coming to life and this being the model this is where we're at now and and and, and I did 
uh, I would be a mess if I did not go into detail. I'd be I would be a, a mess. This right here is three quarters of an inch. That measurement right there from yonder to yonder. Okay, if you measure the original one, it's uh, well, it's like uh, it's like eleven sixteenths, you know, shorter. Okay, I elected to make a longer one. And, and if you remember back when we was looking at this thing a while ago, the when you put this right here in there, I'm going to give you some technical information this time. It won't be on the test, but it's stuff you need to know. If you could look down in that hole right there, right down in yonder, and just take my word for it, pencil it in. If you could look down in yonder, the, the length, or just hold it on the side and visualize it yourself, even if you don't have one, you could build one with these. With this blueprint right here, you could actually build yourself one. And I have to have another one too. I got to do two of these. And this right here would be. This is what we're making with 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 add-on. Okay. And and this is what we're up to right now. I know it's a little recap, but sometimes you have to do it. That's that. And, and if you see on the end of this material, if you can see that, it's just ever such a little bitty, I'm going to call it to your attention, it's just ever such a little bit of nib, a little indent from the tip of that center drill. So that's ha actually how much material I lost on that, on that, on that blueprint change. And, and, and actually, that's what I'm saying. In order to make, to know that, you need to make a change. Uh, mark yourself in a pretty good grade today. Now I'm, I'm going to cut this off. We're going to take. We'll uh, cut this off, and then we'll turn it like this right here, and drill it and thread it. We're going to get her done. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, I would be. I would be a miss. If uh, we if we didn't go over this together, I, I, there is actually a measurement, and you may already have noted. And if you've left it in a comment, then uh, <laughs> and we're on the same page. But if not, uh, put it to memory that you need to do this. You'll you'll have to do it at some point in time if you're going to build one. The, the total length. And in order to get that total length, you have to do some math every now and then. We, we have to get this uh, one half inch, put it right over here. Okay, at one eighth of an inch, put it right over here. That's how long that is. That's how long that is. And the total length on this little, uh, it's called a snout. It won't be on a test. It's three quarters of an inch. Uh, pencil it in right over here. Okay, now we got to add all of that together. And... Um, I'm t that's what I'm talking about. You're going to have to do some math at some point in time. So, actually, three quarters, and you need another quarter to make one. So, you got it up there. So, if you add that together, that's one and a quarter. And an eighth, that is one and three eighths. Okay. Uh, I'm not going I, I'm not going to pencil it in. I'm just going to tell you that's what it is. We're going to cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you—that's what I'm saying. You actually have to do your own math. Uh, 